so, so um, um, it is, it is our, you know, it is our participation in the creation of, of reality. You know, Doug, there's a, there's been a lot of talk about 2012. I've heard different things, yeah. I've heard prophecies, and there's even a movie out. Yeah. So, will you talk a little bit about 2012? Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I think that there is a uh, there is an energy of um, of a convergence and a shift in you know in eras. Okay, there is a point in, in which a kind of a collective pivot occurs, and. Um, and everyone will relate to it a little bit differently. You know, it's something that will will happen, and everybody will have their own experience of it. So it's something that is there, in a sense, it's kind of destined. But we have, we will also have our individual and free choice in terms of how we relate to it. So different people are going to have different levels of experience with the shift. And with with the change in that respect, um, so um, it is it is a uh, uh, kind of an arch archetypal uh, event in which in which an era or an age ends and another one begins. Other people will, exp some people will, exp will experience it very subtly. Other people are going to experience it very, um, uh, very dramatically. It depends on the, uh, the disposition of the, in of the individual. And, there. and it, it is very much a, uh, a result of, of levels of, aware of awareness and, and understanding and how that comes into play. How can we prepare ourselves for 2012? Oh, we prepare ourselves by doing kind of the spiritual work, uh, the reflection, you know, the inner reflection, the personal development, and simply, yeah, being aware, watching, you know, looking at your life and your and yourself. And when things seem like they're leaving your life, okay. Uh, simply allow that to do to happen, and so when new things are coming in, simply allow that to to occur as well. You see, this is how you make that shift something that is is um, uh, easier, more pleasant, more effort, more effortless. The, a lot of the, the what we call the difficulties or the challenges will be about people being unwilling to let go on one hand and unwilling to allow the new to come in. You see, if you obstruct that, then that's where the conflict, that's where the, the, the issues occur. And, uh, but the other thing that I would say about, about this era, this time, all the different things that we're told about you know, the shift in the era, how things are occurring. Um, and I've told this to audiences all over the country and uh, even around different places around the world, too, which is that with whatever the change that's coming, whatever, whatever it is coming or happening, it cannot happen successfully without you. One of the things that I tell audiences all around is that there's something innate about them on a soul level that is essential for the collective. You see? So that which is within is critically important. And it's good to let that let that manifest understand that is as sacred and valuable and it's you.
Doug, what advice would you have for those of us who are uh, stuck in self-destructive behavior and um, caught up in, in negative and dark emotions? Hmm. A lot of people are stuck in fear. This is very, very common, actually, and in, in emotions that are, that are negative. So they experience being stuck because fear has a, has a rather paralyzing effect. And, um, and the more that you are stuck and in fear, it's, it's, it's a frustration which builds. So the answer to the fear, which creates the frustration, which creates the anger and rage that a lot of people experience, is, is awareness. It's shedding light on an essential truth that you are enough to be able to meet any challenge in your life, you see. And it's the doubt, it's the lack of awareness of that truth which triggers a fear response. And it triggers a, you know, an anger response. And it's an anger and a frustration. Uh, essentially, ultimately, with yourself. And you see, that's what the whole depression and the negative spiral is about, is an ultimate sense of disappointment and self-betrayal because you didn't have necessarily the essential knowledge or, or truth about yourself that you are actually, actually enough to meet any challenge, any circumstance, that you are what is required in your life. Okay. Thank you, Tom. And thank you very much for asking me. These questions, I thoroughly enjoyed it.